Welcome back on the same issue or on the same topic. We're very delighted to be having with us live over the phone Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, the political and economic analyst. Good morning, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman. Well, good morning to you. Hello to you and the, 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 the dear viewers. I'm uh, glad to be with you. It's true, true an honor to me. It's a real pleasure to have you, sir, this morning. So how is the private sector considered a key driver to the Egyptian economic development now? Well, I believe this, this is a very important uh, step and a new uh, historical step to our own economy that uh, is struggling to maintain the, the Renaissance plan that we have started and initiated since the beginning of the presidency of the president of the Fatah Such uh, summit, such uh, conference, such uh, gathering can uh, pour more uh, pillar and deepen up pillars of our own economy by all means, by c connecting our own economy to other economies, uh, by uh, connecting uh, the efforts to our friendly uh, nations and friendly associates all over the world. It means a lot uh, to have such uh, steps that, ke that keeps the, the, the connections uh, economically with uh, the, the friendly countries all over the world, whether to the east or to the west. And of course, we need uh, to establish uh, more connections like this uh, all over the, uh, the, uh, the coming period of time, especially that the world is full of conflicts, and it's rare to, uh, to find a country like Egypt that is maintaining economical uh, relation with the, the, the countries from, all, uh, from the east or the west. Right. How do you see the government's efforts to enhance the private sector to become a partner in uh, improving economic conditions of Egyptian citizens? Well, this, is, this has become a main line to our own strategy, to establish a strong relations between the, uh, the private sector and the governmental sector. It means a lot if we can succeed in establishing a new dimension in this relation, based on cooperation, on completing uh, each other's, uh, the, the governmental sector and the military association uh, sector has proven that uh, it has the courage and the strength and the will to start and initiate uh, a wave of uh, mega projects all over the country, all over the state from Sinai, from deep uh, in Upper Egypt to, uh, to Masrouh and the Western Bank in Egypt. I wish that the private sector can work the same way and have the, the same mentality as the, the, the governmental sector. By only this way, the, the, the private sector can be a true associate and a patriotic associate in the Egyptian uh, Renaissance that have started ten, ten years ago, and we are wi willing and wishing for this uh, Renaissance to continue despite the the, 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 the harsh uh, circumstances that the the, the the country and the whole world is facing. Without uh, this unity of efforts, without this. A unity of vision. We can never achieve the the, uh, the hopeful success. For the private sector, it has all opportunities to uh, to go on and uh, be a part of this uh, great agenda, this patriotic agenda. And for for the uh, the private sector to take that chance without delay and to change the, 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 the small mentality of some of, of, some of the uh, private sector uh, parts that will think of, of the fast profit pro products and to change it in a, in a, in a more profitable and, in, in the meantime, strategic profitable uh, 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 project that can complete and go side by side with uh, the governmental uh, efforts and the, 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 uh, the governmental uh, projects that, uh, that 
is that are serving the, the nation, the, 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 the citizen, and the future for this country. Right. What are the main pillars to achieve development through the small and medium enterprises? Of course, we have too many uh, pillars. We need uh, the, the green uh, projects. We need uh, to, uh, for the, 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 in the environmental, the environmental uh, measures to be one of the main uh, pillars of those, uh, those, uh, those projects. And also, we need uh, um, special and uh, leading projects that can change the face of our economy. We need projects that can truly help our own economy in a way that we don't depend on importing everything from, uh, from, uh, from abroad. We need new projects, new, new visions, just to establish our own industry, our own patriotic industry, our own inventions to be applied throughout projects. Uh, yesterday, I was reading an, um, a report about a project that can help and uh, save the power electricity in some of the, the fields of uh, industries. We need such projects to be applied, and we, we need for the private sector to have the courage to start maintaining the, uh, and in, in enhancing on this uh, pr kind of project. That, that, that can serve the country, that can save electricity, that, that can save power sources, that can help the, the, the patriotic and huge efforts accomplished by the government that, can no, that no one can deny. For this, by only this way, we can fund a true uh, patriotic and a true, true identity for our own economical and industrial um, patterns. Right. And also, uh, what is the importance of a comprehensive uh, restructuring strategy to the small and medium uh, uh, enterprises exchange? That's a very important thing to, to, to build upon. Uh, I remember that uh, Germany didn't start its true renaissance after it was t uh, totally demolished and destroyed after the World War II without but only with uh, medium and small projects. The medium and small, and small projects that can take the hands of all the nation, all the people, of all levels, to be a part of the progress that can be achieved without taking part of the whole nation, without taking part of all sectors of the society that yearning, that are yearning to, to take a part and uh, to be a part of this uh, renaissance, we can never achieve the uh, success. Without such projects, uh, uh, by the way, the, the small and the medium projects is a truly part, the true part of the project. Uh, when, we, when we find that uh, a project is building uh, something uh, about iron or something about uh, building a railroad, we need the small uh, industries to complete the mission. Without it, we, it can never be completed. And without the participation of the whole nation, we can never f uh, achieve pro as a nation, as a country. And that's how uh, the whole nation can be, can be a part of the profitable pr uh, progress, not just uh, the, the, the supreme part. The, the, uh, the, the supreme that can, uh, that can achieve the, the profits of this pro progress. That means, a lot, that means a lot to our national security, our feeling of, uh, as a nation, as a, as a, as a, um, as a citizen, that, is, it, it, the, the, the country is feeling about him and feeling that he, he, he is a true and a main uh, part of the, the progress uh, project. Right. Also, uh, what economic incentives uh, did Egypt offer for investors uh, that made um, uh, its uh, largest recipient of foreign direct investments in the African continent in 2020? Well, first, uh, the, the, uh, we have changed the whole set of laws of invest, uh, investments 
uh, and international investments in Egypt that had opened doors for investors from all over the world, from Africa, especially from Africa, from uh, Far East, from Europe, from uh, from Russia, from any uh, from from uh, most of the countries in the world, and we are we need to to, to make it even better to make it even easier uh, as well as we have uh, taken care of something very important which is um, uh, keeping the measures of our own national security that means a lot that that is going side by side with uh, enlarging and uh, making it easy for the uh, the investor to come and uh, pour money here in Egypt for its own benefit as well as benefit of the uh, the uh, national economy right how do you evaluate the impact of global challenges on Egypt's investment climate this is the main question that we are seeking for an answer right now the change of climate is affecting each and every citizen of us affecting each and every part all over the world it's a severe change and it's a suspicious change that is urging uh, or, or deliberately urging uh, nations to, to go into a, a dark tunnel of questioning what is really going on about the, cli the, the climate, who is pushing it towards that uh, dramatic changes that has never happened throughout more than uh, 5,000 years. Why do those, those ch climate change has, ha has happened just in, in the last uh, 30 or 40 years? I remember now that uh, we need, to, uh, that I also remember that Mr. President Abdullah Sisi has tackled that uh, point and even expected uh, such, uh, such circumstances by building the the, uh, the 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 great the the, the great um, industrial and agricultural um, projects that has opened the the, the 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 doors for our own uh, economical powers to, to 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 be launched and also preserve uh, our own wheat our own uh, um, our own economy and our eco economical uh, uh, powers for the future. We need to change uh, the, the mentality. We need to, to find a new project that can preserve our own uh, soil, our own uh, crops, and also uh, change the, the, the crops we are cultivating towards other crops that can fight back the uh, the, the, the climate change, uh, co crops that can fight the, the lack of water, the, the, the fi crops that can fight, uh, can resist the, uh, the, the, the high level of temperature. That's the, 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 the main uh, line that, uh, that should be applied in the agricultural projects. Right. What is the role of Egypt's uh, industrial policy in SME's empowerment? which is the role of Egypt industrial policies in the uh, uh, enforcing SMEs? Well, this is a very important too. We need for the whole powers of the society to be a part of this uh, agenda. According to the, uh, the, uh, the 2030 uh, agenda of the, uh, the UN, but we, all, we need, I need to, 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 to take, say, say something very important here. We need only, only to take from this uh, 2030 agenda, only what suits our own economy, only our, what, what suits our own national security, only what suits our own uh, uh, set of uh, measures um, ec economically, uh, domestically, uh, as an identity, as an Egyptian identity that goes all over uh, any identity in the whole world. Uh, well, of course, we need to launch all the, the, the powers of the society, all the economical, all the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the associations in the, in the whole country to be a part of this uh, march. Mm. Right. So also, uh, <clears throat> uh, what are uh, 
how could we encourage foreign investors to increase contribution in the Egyptian market? We are already doing this, and we have achieved a lot of in, in this uh, field, and we have uh, received lots of investors with this uh, intelligent and rare strategy that can gather the, the eastern and the western investments from, uh, from the east and the west. And we have the projects of uh, the German countries, and uh, the, 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 uh, the German um, uh, companies, and uh, the, the Russian uh, co uh, companies at the same time. And the, as the same country, this, this can never be found in any other country. We need for this uh, to be expanded, and we need force our own identity, our own uh, solidarity uh, vision all over the world. But we can never be a part of the East or to the West. But we, 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 we all the time take in our own stance, our own situation, that balanced situation, economically, politically, with any country of the whole world, only for the benefit of our national security, our own uh, best interest uh, as a country, and, of course, the best interest of the investors from, the, uh, from all over the world. Uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, what are the means of encouraging the private sector uh, to participate in new mega projects that are beneficial to Egypt? This is what I'm talking about. We need for the private sector to be a part of this, not, to be a, uh, not just to be a, a part uh, of its own agenda. I'm talking about the private sector. The private, uh, the private sector should be a part of the main, uh, the, the, the whole vision of the country, of the, ho the whole vision of the industrial uh, scheme. By changing the mentality, by changing the measures, uh, by changing the, 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 uh, uh, the alphabet uh, of its own uh, mentality, we need for it, uh, the priorities should be changed in the mentality of the, the private sector into uh, seeking projects that can achieve Profits, but not on the short term. Also, we can find that cooperation between the governmental sector and the, and the military uh, economical sector and the military uh, industrial sector with the private sector using the same vision, which is profitable, uh, short term and mid term and long term profits. Mm. For this, by only this way, we can achieve the, the, the goals we are seeking. That's, that's the only way we can build the, the troika of this uh, country. And this is the only way to face the, uh, the influence of the, uh, the international and the, the abroad uh, influence that, that are trying to be applied uh, right. all over the countries. We need to stop this by uniting our efforts, by being a stronger hand together as Egyptians, mm. uh, whether uh, we need to find that, that harmony between private sector and the governmental sector and the, the, and the military, uh, exactly. uh, uh, exactly. agricultural and uh, industrial uh, sector. That means a lot. Right. That, that is the only way to achieve success. On that note, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, you are a political and economic analyst. We'd like to thank you, thank you so much for talking to us on The Breakfast Show. You have a good day. We're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the show. So stay with us.